These are going to look so good. I wish that in the fine print it said, you're ordering two. <laughs> Instead of just one. So annoying. Now i got to wait like two days, two or three days till this one comes out. So annoying. <laughs> Head bop, beats, bang, beats, knock, hold block, feel the bone, cause the vibe, feel the room, heads turn, feel this, listen close, just rock to the beat. Head bop, beats, bang, beats, knock, laid back, head bop, beats, bang, beats, knock, hold block, feel the bone. The vibe feel the head and heads turn, feel the listless and close, just rock to the beat, head bop, beats, bang, beats, knock, laid back, laid back, laid back. What's up, guys? <laughs> so, uh, just a quick update, I guess. Uh, we read into the rules, and I believe we are gonna go to Stony because it does say we can still engage in outdoor activities. And that is a facility that you can engage in outdoor activities. So we're trying to obey like the law, but like, of course, we're trying to obey the law and and not do anything out of the way or whatever. So we are, I think I do believe we're going to go to Sony. We're going to try to and we're going to give I've got spacers for I think I've already said this in a vlog, but I've got spacers for the focus the off-road focus these are also spacers i know you see those they're for my acura tl i put my top s wheels back on and i'm going to put the spacers on to place those top s wheels back out because they are in a little bit you know so i'm gonna bring them out it, it's only like an a inch or so or inch spacer or something like that so just a quick update there the miata is running uh, I got the Miata lifted up. The tire's flat, so it looks low. But the Miata is running. I got to wire the fan up, put the freeze plug in it on this side. I'm going to try and do it without put, pulling that intake off, but more than likely I'm going to have to pull the intake off, put the freeze plug on it, put the intake back on. <laughs> That's going to suck. The Miata is still getting lifted. I'm in the process of fixing the title on it, so that way I can daily drive it when I do get it lifted. The fenders will go back on it. I've totally decided to take the doors off. The doors are coming off and I'm going to not drive it. I'm going to haul it with the trailer to A1. Uh, it's a muffler shop close to town or whatever. And they do all, they also do different stuff. They don't just do mufflers and stuff, but just they're a muffler shop, but they do other projects too. So I'm going to take this up there and I'm going to get them to weld a door bar and, and on both sides. So that way I have something keeping me in and it's not totally illegal. So I don't think it is illegal to run without doors because you can build like carts here in Alabama, <laughs> cart vehicles. So um, I am getting that welded in and I won't have doors anymore. R remind you guys, this is just a toy and I'm getting it titled so I can tag it so I can drive it to the destination we're gonna be riding not going to be daily driving it. although I will daily drive it to work and back or whatever but as that's why I'm getting a title and stuff like that so it's not going to be like a literally everyday vehicle but if so it could be if if I wanted it to be also do not mind hauling it anywhere to ride so it's no big deal the tires are another thing I'm going to order the tires pretty soon and yeah there's all I'm, I'm probably going to use these wheels and just order the tires for those wheels. I thought that headlight looked really big and then I took it out here and I held it against this and I was like, wow, it ain't really that big. But it looks big in that box, I don't know why. Bumper is still not on the car, still fixing the bumper uh, on my TL. That was just a quick update for you guys. Um, we are gonna try and go to Sony with the Focus and then I'm gonna spray it off before we get here. <laughs> And then it'll be in my shop and I'll be able to do more stuff to it. Like I am going to try and order a lift for it or we're going to build one. But I'm more than likely I'm just going to order one and then lift it. But I am putting the spacers on it when I go over there. Uh, better tires. I'm going to tune it up, change the oil because it turned out to be a good car. <laughs> so we're going to try and take care of it as much as we can. I'm going to buy spark plugs, wires, just do the whole tune up, change the oil, all that junk. Hopefully it'll run a little bit better because it is kind of weak, you know, like even climbing hills. Uh, we're going to go with a smaller tire. The 30s do look awesome. 
but I definitely want a smaller tire because it doesn't have any power <laughs> with the uh, with the 30s on it. So we're gonna be not much smaller, but it's gonna be a smaller, more aggressive tire because the tires that are on it really don't have any tread. It was more like a fun thing to do. It was really cool. Uh, I'm gonna put a lot bar on it, of course. Uh, a lot bar is going on the Miata, and a lot bar is going on my Jeep. And a lot bar is going on my TL. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you're wondering why the bumper's off the TL, I know a lot of people have been wondering. Uh, this is why. There was a, a crack here, and I hit a brick. The brick cop come up and re-crack this bumper. I did not know this bumper was cracked before, but it, it was. <laughs> So I started sanding it down to fix the crack and it turned out it had been covered up with Bondo. So I have two choices here. I can just get another bumper, which I thought about, but they don't have any Type S bumpers in. It's only the, uh, the base model bumper, which doesn't look any different, but these pieces here are different and these will not fit in a, in a, uh, without looking ridiculous and it doesn't belong these fit in a top S bumper instead of the stock bumper. So I could buy that and just buy all the pieces, which is no big deal, but I do like these bumpers the way the flare is here. So I'm going to try and do my best to fix this. If not, I'm just going to order a regular bumper and it should be fine. Won't be no big deal. But the problem is I'll have to paint that whole bumper and it'll be a little bit more money than just painting this piece after this is finished. So I've got some Bondo and I've thought about just filling this hole back and smoothing it out the best I can, painting over it and just call it done. But we'll see. Chris's vehicle is still here. I know people have been wondering about it. We are still building a rally car gambler vehicle out of it. We just want to make sure the fuel issue is going to fix. It is in my backyard. Uh, I haven't got time I haven't had time to go back there and I really didn't want to work on it and make a video on it unless Chris was here because Chris said he wanted to work on it with me. So I haven't went out there and done anything to it. But we think it's going to be either the fuel pump itself or a fuse or something or fuel, fuel relay. Because we were we were touch we were kicking on the fuel uh, shut off valve that's in the back of the cars. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. There's like a little fuel switch in the back in the trunk of those cars left in like the top spot or whatever. But uh, if you click those, it'll like turn the fuel on and off. And sometimes it'll trip. It's like a breaker. And it'll trip it sometimes. You gotta go back there, turn it back on or whatever. And we clicked it on and off and it wasn't turning the fuel on and off, but the car is turning over, which you've seen that in the video where we review, where we went and picked these cars up. So hopefully it won't be much to uh, fix it, but that's what's holding us up on that car. And being quarantined and not being able to leave and we just having to stay home or whatever, that's another thing because Chris is not able to come over but I think he's going to be able to come over and work in the next couple weeks. So we'll work on that car in the next couple weeks. So we'll see. We are going to try and go the best we can to go to Sony tomorrow and get some riding in and some footage and just get back because everything's almost fits to go back to normal. Every, I've ordered face shields to take precautions and so like I said we're just going to try our best to stay protected and stay within the laws or whatever so because there is a lot of people still going out and just doing whatever they don't and all that good stuff so we feel like we've been cooked up in this place in this house long enough so we need some fresh air we're, we are going to uh, innovate the YouTube channel. I don't know if you guys heard me talk about this, but we are going to do more stuff with the YouTube channel. It's not just going to be pertaining to cars. Because like right now we're held up. We're held up with this thing. We're held up with Chris's. And I've tried to do everything, like my TL, this car, my Jeep, and all that. And it's worked out pretty well. But we are going to do like Discord Hangouts. We're trying to work on that. And some more videos. So we have a ton of ideas. 
we're gonna surprise you guys. So we'll let you guys there. So if you want to stay tuned for that, just subscribe to the channel, like this video. If you don't care, you can like it or dislike it. <laughs> there is gonna be a lot more content coming out and it's gonna be really fun, especially with the vlogs that we're planning on doing and everybody's kind of pitching in. So I hope you guys like it. See you guys tomorrow at Stony or whatever. Peace. Again, guys, we have this still set up here that we were going to do the long form content with sort of like a podcast is what we used to do, the love seat thing. And we were still thinking about doing this. We was wondering what you guys thought about it. It'd just be once a week. We would just sit here and talk about random nonsense or random things about cars or whatever. And we would have people over too. And yeah, so let me know what you think about this because we still have it set up here. <laughs> what we would do is we'd put a table right there, put the computer on it, and the mics would go out here. And if we had a third person, another mic would be on the end here, hooked up and pointing in this direction or whatever. So just let us know. Peace.